Now, coming finally to the uh, question of the self, the awareness of, of the self. The self is the center and totality of the psyche. One of its synonyms is the, is the inner God image. It's the transpersonal authority of the psyche. Uh, the ego is the smaller authority and the, and the self is the larger authority. Uh, when one has made a contact with the self, uh, the ego then becomes relativized and recognizes that its life must be uh, uh, governed by an authority uh, higher than itself. Now, what, what does such a recognition have to do with society? A great deal indeed. In a certain sense, we can say that society is the exteriorized mirror of the psyche. Uh, every society has uh, a, a leader of, of some sort. Uh, at one stage, it was the, it was the king or the, or the, or the president. Uh, occasionally, it's, uh, it's an oligarchy of, uh, of aristocrats. But uh, always, in order for a, a society to, to be cohesive and, and exist organically, it has to have a central authority. And that central external social authority is a mirror of the inner authority of the self. That's why when one has dreams of a, of a king or of a president or of Washington, D.C., uh, in most cases, those dreams refer to the self. So what's at issue here is the individual's uh, relation to authority. Uh, if one has no uh, connection to the, uh, to the self, and particularly when the, when the ego is weak, when there's low, low level of uh, psychological differentiation, uh, especially in times of uh, turmoil, social turmoil and, uh, and distress, there is a strong tendency for the self, the center, central organizing authority, principle of the psyche, to be projected. Uh, because in times of turmoil, the, uh, the compensatory sec uh, aspect of the psyche activates and turmoil uh, uh, then tends to constellate uh, order. Disorder constellates order, and uh, uh, order in such circumstances often has to be imposed uh, with some level of uh, discipline and authoritarianism. Uh, and so what can happen in such cases then is that one gets uh, massive collective projections of the self uh, in, onto the, uh, the, uh, the leader, the Fuhrer, for instance. That's what happened in Nazi Germany. It's a, uh, it's a, uh, I'm looking for an adequate word to, to describe uh, 
it, it, it's an, it's an, a lesson of instruction of a magnitude that could hardly be uh, exaggerated as to the dangers of the projection, the collective projection of the self. That's what happened in Nazi Germany. Uh, we see it happening in all sorts of uh, uh, charismatic uh, religious cults. Uh, it, it's happening in small scale all over, scattered uh, all around. And as we lose our containment in, in, our, uh, uh, in our conventional religious myth, this danger is going to become more and more uh, operative. Uh, and it's probably the, uh, the greatest threat to humanity, uh, much greater than the uh, uh, nuclear bomb.